Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be discussing something that is more different from everything else we'll be talking about this channel. Today we'll be talking about the seven laws of success. Now these seven laws of success are laws that I've researched and even billionaires have come out to say that these laws I'm about to tell you are laws that can help you become successful in any endeavor that you are. Whether it's your schooling, whether it's your education, whether it's money, whether it's your family and personal reasons, following these seven laws of success will really take you far as far as you follow it accordingly the way it should be. And I'll be listening to them one after the other just like I normally do on this channel and just make sure you implement them and try to put them to practice. Now law one is to let go of fear. Now I totally understand when it is that you want to take a particular decision but it always looks like you're quite scared. In fact, I remember very clearly back then when I was in university, when I wanted to start my new business, it was very tough and taxing for me. I was thinking, okay, how exactly do I manage engineering, what I'm doing currently? Or how exactly do I manage politics that I was doing in school back then because I used to be the president of my faculty back then in school with the whole business thingy but I really had to do that particular business. But if you come to think about it and see, you see that there are so many things that are so important and you don't necessarily have to overthink them. A saying says that people who do are people who normally win. So sometimes you just have to not really think about things so much and just go into it without being scared. Another thing that can really help your fear is when you understand that failure is not necessarily a loss. Failure can serve as lessons. In fact, because of the kind of businesses I do, I normally advertise a whole lot. We purposely fail in order for us to get the right result that we want to get on the long run. So what I mean is, for instance, we can have 10 different ways we want to probably maybe put a creative out there and we know that some of them are going to fail. We are not, when, when it fails, we're not necessarily going, going back to say, oh, oh, this thing failed, how do I do it? No, we're not doing any of all those things. It failed because it is not just working. We just look for the winner. So in every failure that you get, think, always think about the positive. And let me give you a good example. While you were in school, if you had a test and the test was supposed to be scored over 70, and when you wrote that test, you scored, let's say, 20 over 70, all right? Now, what that means is that you got 20 right and failed the remaining 50 or lost the many 50 points but the takeaway from that is that you actually got 20 right so if you focus on that 20 and not really the 50 you see that you're you're going to be happier just like advertising we can put out 10 creatives for instance and only two is going to convert for us so we focus on those two and try to create different versions of the two that are working so it's only well when you're in school that you think that probably if you fail that's the end of the road no it is never like that all right it is never like that when you fail it's just a new lesson that you have learned now the second law of success is that you need to find people that are on the same mission with you now i'm a very i'm a very persistent christian i love christianity i love the bible and i love religion all right but i'm not necessarily i won't say i'm the best person when it comes to religion and stuff but I, I do understand the Bible a whole lot. And there's a part of the Bible that says, do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. Now, what that simply means is that if you're a believer of Christ and all that, you should not always be found in the midst of people who do not believe in Christ. Now, it's not that the Bible is trying to discriminate people who are not believers in Christ or any of that. In fact, the Bible goes on to encourage us to bring people who are unbelievers to the, to, to the, to the Christianity so that they can actually be changed, you get. But if you find yourself always being among unbelievers, you will notice that their beliefs and their system is always going to rub off on you. It's, you're always going to have that ripple effect where you're going to find it very difficult to make some kind of critical decisions that you will normally easily make when you're around believers. So the same thing applies to you when you want to become successful. If you decide that you want to change your life today and you're always around people who have not decided that they, wanted, they want to change their lives, you always find out that whatever thing they do that causes you distractions is what you always do for yourself as well so it's easy for you to go in the path of success when there are already people around you who normally try to become successful personally for me what i simply do is that i used to make sure that from time to time i keep older friends i used to make sure that i keep friends that who are a little bit smarter than me i know some 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 people or some speakers must have told you that okay only follow people that are smarter than you know if you're only following people that are smarter than you how do you find people that you can work with? Sometimes you need people that you can order. Sometimes you need people that you can control. So that you need people that can answer to you. So if you're only moving with people that are smaller than you, you will never have those kind of people. So there are three ways. You either need to make sure that you are following people who are smarter than you, people who are on the same level with you so that you can get their advice as well and see how they're doing their stuff, and people who are lower than you so that you can build with them. Those people that are lower than you that you can build with them, you now bring them up and find other people that are lower, lower and loyal to you then bring them up as well that's how you do it so you, you should make sure that you find 
people who are on the same mission as you as you go up the ladder of success now number three is that you need to follow successful trails now there's this thing when back in 2021 i remember very clearly i created a book called how to follow who no road now the reason why i created that book was because i noticed that my life has always been around just following people who are already successful successfully doing stuff i don't i didn't necessarily always have to start thinking that okay how do i do this how do i do this no i didn't i just usually have people around me who are doing really great stuff and i just do things exactly how they're doing their own stuff as well so it's usually never a challenge for me to find out that thing that can totally work for me you know it's never ever a challenge it's usually super easy when it comes to like you know making money or anything so all i simply do is that if i find somebody who is on the trail that i want to be on i just follow the person's footsteps and i obviously you don't just follow blindly all right there's, a, there's another very nigerian saying that says that follow no road all right but make sure that you are seeing the road that he's showing you so that you don't go ahead and fall into some kind of issues so that's another way i usually use to make a lot of money for myself i just follow successful trades and that's that's one of the reasons why i am much more successful than a lot of my peers today now the first is leap and grow wings on your way down now what that simply means is that if there is a cliff right here and you see if this is a cliff and you're standing right here and you're thinking of okay the next place that you can land is here how do you jump from here and get to this particular place if you don't have a parachute or you don't have a plane or something you might always think that okay what exactly am i going to do but for somebody who is on the journey of success what 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 the ogs and the real people who are billionaires will recommend is that you should take that jump and when you take that jump believe that you're going to have a parachute or believe that you're going to grow wings on the way it sounds metaphoric and it sounds unbelievable just the same way it is it sounds unbelievable that Elon Musk is now worth over 200 billion dollars so which one do you choose which unbelievable do you choose to believe it's up to you so may i choose to believe everything because it's your belief that is going to foster your mentality in hindsight what i'm simply saying is that you just simply need to always take that step even if it doesn't really look so clear because one thing that is, is that is going to help you do is that it will help you make more informed decisions you won't be so risk averse you're always going to be focused on that on the particular goal that you need to achieve and you will notice that most time whenever you just think about it how many times have you taken decisions where it's not so clear but it end up turns out being good and you are you are even rewarded based on the fact that you acted so far that's another thing you have to think of whenever you're trying to make money or become successful in life now this fifth rule is try many things and create different streams of income but i know that you've heard so many times where people say create income streams do this do that do that i totally get it but i want to point out something the whole word passive income is not necessarily always passive especially if you don't have any income that is active now what i simply mean is this is how you build passive income okay you need to have first a general income that pumps you a lot of money so for me now for instance that could be my youtube channel could be my information marketing business could be my cpa marketing business that all those businesses give me money every single day of my life so what i can do is that i can take the income that i've gotten from my active income and buy assets now when you buy assets and those assets start creating revenue for you generating income for you that is now what is called passive income so you have to understand that you have to go from being an active income earner before you become a passive income earner i don't like the situation whereby somebody is pitching to beginners about passive income knowing fully well that most of these beginners do not even have a current active income i will never be part of that kind of things so if you if you want to create different income streams think about it that if you have a probably maybe a pure water business where you sell searched water or you sell bottled water or whatever from that water business you can expand to different income streams income stream does not necessarily have to be passive you can have three or four active businesses and make a lot of money for yourself once you have enough cash liquidity to invest in assets to invest in other people's businesses to invest in things like stocks that's when you can now start talking about passive income for yourself so that is just really going to help you arrange your thinking as to what passive income is and active income is and to know exactly where you are right now in your journey of making a lot of money for yourself now number six is that you need to lead and you need to serve others most of the money you're going to make in this life is as a result of you offering a service to people whether big or whether small now what i simply mean is that if you want to make a thousand dollars you need to do a service worth a thousand dollars to somebody or you need to sell a product worth a thousand dollars to that particular person in order for that person to give you his or her money because the person earns his money and you don't necessarily want to just let the money go just like that so you have to think about it like this if you are recommending a product to people you are leading them on that particular decisions for them to take 
Because if they are believing you over a lot of other people, they are trusting you as a leader for them to make informed decisions and pay their money. So that's where I say you need to be able to be a good leader. You don't necessarily need to make it fancy like probably be the president of your country or something. No, just necessarily. It's, in fact, leadership is something that everybody has always been doing. The first person that you always lead in your life is yourself. You're, you're either living, leading yourself to destruction or leading yourself to prosperity. So you should understand that everything you do in this particular lifetime or in your particular lifetime just simply is just simply a roadmap that you, you are leading yourself to or your future self to. So that's exactly how it works. Then serving others is all around providing services for people who need them. So the more people you serve and the quality of people you serve will determine how much you're going to make. A simple example can be, if I'm selling donuts, I'm selling to just the general public, I'm selling to everybody. But if I'm selling luxury watches, I'm selling to people who are really rich. If I'm selling private jets, I'm selling to people who are really rich. Which means that most times I'm going to make a lot of money by just selling one product as opposed to somebody who is selling, trying to sell one donut to a thousand people. And basically, trust me, I'm going to tell you for free that everything that you see in life, all right, has the same basic instructions. The same energy it takes you to sell one donut to one person, the same energy it takes you to sell a private jet to one rich man. As long as there is the need and there is the value in return for the need, that means the money is there to be exchanged for the value you're going to give them or for the service you're going to give them, transactions can go on. So it doesn't necessarily matter the place you are in or the kind of business you're doing. What matters is the quality of people you're serving at that particular point. Are you serving rich people or are you serving people who don't have a lot of money? Now, a good way to make money by serving people who don't have a lot of money is by playing the numbers game. When you play the numbers game, you're going to be sending to lots of people at the same time in hope of making a profit. So if you put all these things into perspective, you see that the whole idea of leadership and service can literally shape you in a such a way that by your life is now trajected to being, becoming a successful person online. Now the last but not the least is something that no, nobody will normally say is the fact that you actually need to enjoy and reward yourself at every point in time or at every milestone that you achieve. Now what that is going to help you do is that it's going to put your mind in a state whereby you now understand the importance of the goal you just achieved. Because if you just got, if you just got a new car and you do not celebrate it, or you just got a new house and you don't celebrate it, it's just be like any other thing, and you sometimes feel like you are underachieving. But if you decide to celebrate it and be, be happy with yourself and appreciate yourself, most times you will notice that most things will just come easier than it should be. So always find time to enjoy yourself and always find time to enjoy uh, to reward yourself for anything that it is that you have achieved. If you've enjoyed the content in the YouTube channel so far, please like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you get an alert anytime i drop a video and please make sure to share with your friends this is praise akin cheers